Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode. I am Andre Sanchez from Alphasoft.com. In today's video, I would like to talk about, or rather make a demonstration on Talent ETL on how to generate a Excel file which contains different tab sheets. So it sounds a very straightforward process. You might imagine certain design pattern uh, just by hearing this um, assignment, uh, but I will show you that there are little things uh, to it. So let's get started. We are going to extract data from a database, right? So if you don't know how to access a database, in this case, a um, SQLite database, I recommend you watch the video that I made in which I extract data from database and create a file with it. That's one that you could check, or if not, the how to extract, transform, and load contents of large JSON file into. Yeah, I think that I better recommend you to watch the how to extract data from database and create a file with it. If you, as I said, if you don't know how to do that part, because I'm not going to um, go into the details of that part right now. I'm just going to start the design by creating a job. I will call it uh, to, to Excel. Let's call it to Excel. So the purpose is to demonstrate how to create an Excel file with multiple sheets. So one single file, multiple sheets in it or tabs. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is extract data from the database, right? So my database is uh, configured already here. I'm going to select the table which I want to get that data from. Once I get the data, I will just run a query. In fact, I'm going to open the database so you can have an idea what the information is that we have in the database. So I wanna query my database from here from a history is the name of the table. Hmm. I will expect this to autocomplete. But so this is what we've got in this table. We have the date and this is just the Bitcoin price action uh, records, public domain, nothing sensitive here. And yep, yeah, there's um certain things. So I'm going to generate um, a spreadsheet based on the price. Let's say that if we have a price, price range that goes from 30,000, the 30K to 40K range, that will create a tab. And for those prices in the range of the 40K up to 50K, it will create another tab and so on and so on. Maybe I just create two types to just to give the demonstration how to apply filters and how to create different tabs inside the same document. So this is basically the query that gives me the results. So in my project, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a query that will extract the whole database so I can apply my filtering inside the job. Next, I want to um, guess the schema because probably I don't have a schema. Now it should appear there. So this schema will replicate throughout my entire job. So the next thing I need to do is, well, let me explain you something. You might think, okay, if I want to create multiple X files, if I look at the component T output X file, there's something that says here uh, append existing file, right? You might think, okay, if that is the case, I should be able to just TXML map, enter the data I want right here, and then create as many outputs as I need to, as tabs I want to have. But um, you might try it. I don't want to try. I don't want to lose time because I tried before and that doesn't work. 
So what we need to do here is to use the T um, replicate component. So I will replicate the component because I need to make this thing into different sub jobs. So I replicate and I use the T buffer output. The T buffer output is what allows me to store the whole flow so that I can repick in the next sub job. So after this, I want to apply some filtering. So I want to do the filtering part. So T filter is the way to go. No, this is not. T filter out is the way to go. I apply the filter here. And after I apply a filter, I want to just save into a file. In this case, a Excel file. So I have the query here, I have my buffer output here, I have my filter. So the first filter that I want to apply, if I just synchronize my cells and my rows, I want to apply a filter on the price because the price is what I want to filter. And I want something that is mm, greater than the first filter that I'm going to apply is the filter of the 30K. So whatever goes above 30k and whatever goes below and, and it's below the 30k where's my price and is uh, smaller uh, lower or equal to 40k one two three it will go it will be just filter here so let's call this the 30k range right above 30k below 40 that's the 30k range so i will call here also the 30k range this is going to be for the 30k and i will name this sheet accordingly 30k so that's pretty much i will include the header into this file and if I want to add a new tab, then I have to use T buffer in buffer in and I will say that once this sub job is completed with a trigger on sub job OK, then I will enter into this next sub job. Now I just have to copy these two components, copy, paste here. In fact, before I start copying, I would like to determine the place where I'm going to save my file, right? So I'm going to select the place where I'm working. And I think that was here I was doing this. Yeah. So I will type, I will select this file. And there's one file already there, so I'm going to make sure it's deleted. And and that's it, this is a 30k range. I will include the header and maybe I will just type in this auto size part. So now I can then copy these two components, paste them right here below and make this linking over here, say yes. And this should be the 40k range. So, which means that I start by 40 and everything below 50. So, I just edit this 40k, 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 right? So, let's say that I want to continue even further and add a third tab that case I will do the T buffer input again and this time I will just activate it on the prior buffer so this sub job will only start after this one has finished copy copy paste connect um, something went wrong right here 
okay my system is like freezing a little bit seems like it's fine now okay well so um, when these things happened I usually close the job and open again because now I see something like like a threat over here shouldn't be that um, risky right now so this is the 50k range I will just edit these little things just to make it pretty it's not really necessary but uh, for sake of making things prettier is good so this is going to be the um, 50k range 50k range make sure that my so here's where I have to use append to existing I use the auto resize so this is the configuration okay so if I move into the other one the 40k make sure that everything is in place I'm including a header I have to append and I like to auto resize let me just show you yeah and this is actually the 40k and we have the 30k is 30k is fine the 30k being the first one I don't need to append but for the rest I want to append so I think it should be uh, ready by now so I'm going to to just run the job and see if we if, if there's something we need to debug running 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 it's building and the job started running the first tab was created the second was created and now we're going for the third one and it seems like exit status zero so now let's take a look at the excel file which will be right here I double click it, it will open with LibreOffice and it will show me that we generated effectively a excel file which contains in the top of the 30k range we have price only ranging from 30 to 40 as we can see here in the top 40k we have also prices ranging from 40 till 50 and so it appears for the 50k range so that is the way you do it that's how you write a how you generate an excel file with different tab sheets in one job Thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful, cheers!